What's up again everyone and welcome back to another real great Gundam review and this is the one and only Gundam 00 Riser from Gundam 00 and I can already let you know that this is one hell of a real great Gunpla. A quick look at the box and there's nothing really new to see here. If you've seen one real great box then you've seen them all. Except this time over here on the left it's adorned by 00 Riser's glorious head looking badass as usual. On this side of the box we've got some info on the technical aspects of the kit and on this side we've got some epic shots of what it will look like all put together. And finally this kit goes for an RRP of 3000 yen. Real grades are undoubtedly some of the best looking model kits on the market. But 00 has severely kicked it up a few notches. It looks spectacular. The colors are vivid and absolutely perfect. The real grade color accuracy is as impressive as always. But the only color here that has two separate shades is the white, with a brilliant pure white and a grayish off-white. But as for the blue, red and yellow, we only get one of each but it still looks epic. There's a healthy dose of clear parts on here. Clear green in the GN condensers and head cameras, clear red here on the V-fin, and we even have a clear orange on the cockpit of the O-Riser. As for the decals, we get that typical huge sheet of stickers, which also includes foils for covering the clear green parts, but I have no idea why you'd want to do that. As for part separation and proportions, this thing looks amazing. An insane level of detail with a lot of tiny, intricate parts, especially up here on the head. As for gimmicks, here we've got an opening cockpit, this nice part moving mechanism at the knee, up here at the shoulder we've got a locking mechanism, as you can see that won't move anywhere, but if you pull this blue section up, then that can move up and down, press it down again, and that'll lock it up just like that so once you equip the riser, the weight of it won't pull these down. We have another locking mechanism down here that when you release this, you can spin the GN drive here, then lock that back into place, and that will stop that from moving, and again this is for when the riser is attached and it's perfect for posing. So let's do that one more time. There's what everything unlocks so that can move around, up and down, so that'll spin around like that, lock that into place and that won't be going anywhere. Also up here push down this blue section and that will lock it up like that. Slap on the old riser and weapons and I can say without a shadow of a doubt that this is the best looking real grave release to date and it does the double O justice. So here is the double O with everything that it comes with and this box is absolutely packed with accessories. In here we've got the GN Sword 3 as well as the GN Sword 2 and you've got two of those. This section here for attaching them together, this massive clear effect part from the GN Sword 3, two GN Sword 2 effect parts. In here we've two beam saber handles as well as beam sword effect parts. Only one of them shown here, I kind of lost the other one somehow. Including the default face you've got a grand total of eight hands. Both parts of the GN shield, two pilot figures as well as two base adapters for the double O and for the O riser, two energy tanks which can be used to replace the GN drives in the shoulders, the O riser as well well as an alternate colorless cockpit. And lastly down here we've got some landing gears for the O-Riser, as well as these two smaller parts here for attaching the GN Sword 2 to the side skirt armor. First up is the GN Sword 2 and that's in white, grey, blue and this nice colorless clear part up here. Of course as usual that can be used in beam rifle mode or quite simply transformed like this into sword mode. And just like I mentioned before it also includes this awesome massive beam effect part and that can just be slid on to the blade like that. And using this small little adapter piece that can be attached to each other like this and as you can see that is huge. Next up now is the GN Sword 3 and this is one of my all time favorite mobile suit weapons. It is so awesome. Also here in blue, grey and white as well as this impressive looking clear green. As always this blade can bend back like this to expose that rifle in there as well well as up like this to be used as a straight up sword. That is pretty badass. Like I mentioned already, I love this weapon and this real great version just looks so good. And of course not to forget that massive effect part. So that just slides down on there and that makes it even bigger than it already was. Now that's a big sword. Next the GN shield and that's in blue, white, some grey around here. This blade part can pull out and in like that and these can also be attached together but you need to pull this section here up a little further along these so that these little sections here are sticking out and then just connect them together under here just like that. As for the sabers we've got two types these ones here for connecting onto the back as well as these ones here that connect into the hands 
with this little knob here which connects into the palms. As for the saber itself, it's pretty much as basic as you would have seen a hundred times already. As for the hands, we've got a default fist, a widespread dynamic open hand, a hand for holding the weapons, as well as your standard real grade hand over here. As for the energy tanks, they're just a solid grey piece of plastic. And next up is the o riser And this itself has quite a few moving parts. This blue section here on the wing, that can move back and forth there. Back here, a pivot. This part here can open up. Whoops. This section here can open up. And these entire wings here can also move in and out slightly as well. Down here in the bottom, these landing gears can be swapped out for the ones I showed earlier on. And just like on the mobile suit itself, this has an opening cockpit hatch. As we're attaching that onto the back of the double O, the wings just detach easily like that. This part can extend out and bend around. And last up in here is two tiny pilot figures, and that's Setsuna here in that typical pose, as well as Saiji holding his harrow. As always, the real great line delivers. The quality of this kit is unparalleled. Everything about this is perfect. Even straight built, this kit is solid, but the only thing I can fault about this is the loose ankle armor, which tends to pop off. So that is it for the review. Is it an awesome kit? Hell yes. A fun build? Definitely. Should you buy it? Well, that's completely up to you. As far as I'm concerned, this is the best real grade I've seen so far. And maybe because the double O is my favorite mobile suit, it's the most fun I've had building a real grade since the first time I cracked one open. I might be a bit biased, so you can keep that in mind when I say that, but this is a kit I would recommend to both double O fans and non-fans alike, as well as both Gunpla beginners and veterans. It is just that good. So I hope you enjoyed the review, thank you very much for watching, and make sure, as always, to come back for more Gunpla reviews. See you next time.